Well, yeah, what well I wanted to do? say about assimilation mm. first because there's lots of Aboriginal people who want to live an assimilated life mm. and I think, um, and that's fine, but in the process it's not their word that is going to guide what, ha what is Aboriginal uh, affairs and what is an Aboriginal uh, treaty because um, we know that the event of colonialism has interfered so much in our lives mm. that lots of people have turned, have taken up white terms of reference to live by. Whereabouts, mm. Aboriginal terms of reference to me is what Aboriginal people will guide them to what a treaty is mm. and how right. mm. we are going to negotiate living in this country. Mm. Mm. And to me, Aboriginal people there's a lot of confusion amongst a lot of our people and sometimes they're operating on white terms of reference. Yes, that's right. And sometimes they're operating on Aboriginal terms of reference. And at the same time, the government is battering us all the time with assimilationist yes. leadership things and this education and everything else as battering Aboriginal people to be assimilated and become like white Australians. Mm, so yeah. as far as I'm concerned, this causes the confusion, especially in young, young, young people, people. Mm. Who, who cannot mm. see any positiveness, any, in, in, anything positive for themselves in the future. And it leads to these dreadful things of suicide yes, and, yeah. and, you know, um, drugs and alcohol and so on. Because they cannot, yeah. they cannot see a positive future for themselves. Mm. And also, a lot of those young people getting dragged into white terms of reference and see them, you know, they want to join in with what the, with the Western society. It's very seductive, uh, you know, very seductive, and that's yeah. understandable. And that's why we need to arm our young people with cultural knowledge mm, in terms of and reference. build mm. their strengths in order to see that we can work towards a positive future and mm. we can have a treaty.